Good evening everyone, this is Julie Edwards and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's in the evening and I find myself, this might be a new routine for me, um, again, to do it in the evening because I have my granddaughter, uh, Victoria, back with me. <clears throat> she was supposed to have um, already started her head start, but um, what happened was the person that was going to leave and um, didn't actually leave, so my granddaughter was supposed to take their their ch child's spot. So um, she's back with me, and fortunately for me, I am doing better. I'm still recovering. I've got this residual, you know, a little bit of shortness of breath in my chest, you know, my lungs actually. Um, if I do talk a lot, I do get fatigued a little bit, so I'll start coughing, and that's because of my lungs. Um, but I've been moving around, trying to get exercise, you know, around the house. Just moving, you know, quite a bit so I can rebuild my lungs, because my lungs were affected by this doozy of a <clears throat> virus. So, it was a rhinovirus that was going around, and then they, the doctor said, it looks like, you know the B19 business, but it, it looks very similar, but it's a rhinovirus and that affects your upper respiratory. Um, and you know, because I'm, you know, a little bit older, you know, I'm 57 and, you know, in all honesty, I did smoke, you know, I was a smoker, was, was WAS. Um, so that, uh, you know, naturally, uh, comes against me, but anyway, um, I, enough of that, I am doing better and I hope everyone is doing well too and staying well. Um, I, during my granddaughter's nap time, I drew this out today, the rose and painted it and then painted the poppy the poppies here that um that I drew you know a few days ago but hadn't painted yet and the reason for that is because I'm trying to get in some paint time I would didn't record it I should have recorded it but I wasn't thinking I was just in a rush to try and get some of this done before she wakes up you know, I'm vying for time now, and now, um, by the time she leaves, I'm exhausted, and I can't even, you know, can't even think about painting or crafting until I, you know, get some rest, because, you know, she's an active toddler, and it still wipes me out, because I don't have my full energy back yet, you know, so... What I do have left, I still have the painting of this Black Eyed Susan and to finish up the Trumpet Vine. And with this one that I uh, drew today and painted, I'm, I'm thinking I need to add another leaf right here and then sneak a little rosebud, just a bud, like a one that's just in its bud form because this is just a lot of empty space you know, if you see, and then over here, I'm not sure. There's just a lot of empty space. I may leave it. I don't know. See, this has some space too, but I'm, I'm thinking if I, when I put my signature in here and I write, this is a rose, like a Confederate rose, then, you know, hmm. We don't know we can still decorate these pages somehow uh, but I was I have something also in mind yet that I, I'm not going to share at the moment um, because I think it's going to be added in the freebie um, of this journal yeah I have something I'm not going to go into it because now I'm just you know stumbling in my words so we'll, enough of that so i'm still thinking about adding something here 
and possibly, possibly over here. I don't know, you guys. I see. I, I, I to, consistently I have two. One, two, one, two. Two flowers. Two flowers. Uh, this, the trumpet vine, has th four of them. But it needed to have that because they're very small flowers, so it needed to take up some space. So, uh, yeah, to me, I just think that this needs something like maybe a bud coming in here. Or, hmm, let's just set that aside. Don't know because we'll see what. Let's just go ahead and let's paint this black-eyed Susan okay I'm trying to get these leaves finished tonight and this black-eyed Susan painted up uh, this evening so um, I'll just get these out of the way I just want to keep these here so you guys can still view them Uh, the, aren't these poppies beautiful? And you know about this paper. Even though I'm working with watercolor, it's very, very difficult to blend the colors as you're, you know, dropping out. So it's like putting it on layers. So you're going to have to naturally go from light, very, very light to dark, to try and get your color value correct on them. So it's light to dark because this is just, this is copy paper, it's tea stained paper, and it's held up pretty nicely. It kind of bled through a little bit here. That's easy to cover with some uh, gesso, but it didn't do that with a lot of them. Maybe just a few dots here and there, but it, it you know, and I applied a lot of water and color onto this, and if you can see, it didn't bleed and I think what protected it was <clears throat> the coffee dyeing and then the baking because I did bake this in the oven to to dry and so I think that protected it made the fibers in this paper a lot thicker so it held up and it it didn't warp this paper I mean the paper was already warped because of the coffee dyeing but the paint didn't warp it and it actually, it went on very beautifully. Yeah, so I was really, I'm really surprised with this um, tea staining paper that to, to take, you know, lots of wet watercolor, you know, I mean, really wet. It just, it's amazing. Anyway, let's get to what I did was <clears throat> I'm using where did I put it? Huh. Oh, okay, it's right here. It's right here. I'm using this just from Walmart. Mixed media paper. It's acid free. It's 98 pounds, 160 GSM. And it's for mixed media. And then that includes, you know, water. So what I've done, what I was using, using this to mix my paint here was my, my swatch of the, the color palette the paint palette that I'm using Woo! oops so sorry right here that's the color palette I'm using and this is from Walmart and it's, it's a travel it's a travel um, kit and it comes with a little paintbrush too that you fill up here with water the barrel um, yeah, and I, I actually like this. I didn't break out my other big one because it takes so much space off the table, but I I love the way this the paint feels here. It's more creamy of a creamy palette. And the other one takes a lot of rubbing back and forth just to get the color, you know, off of it. But I do like it. It offers more color but I've been working on using this I've been using this here so what I've been doing on if you can see back here I've been using it to mix my colors 
because it gives me the it allows me to see the color that I want to put down on paper so I just mix it all up in here and it has these it's a it develops these pools of color and I just use it and take it and paint the picture so you'll see this um, you'll see this how it I manage that on here so I just want to open these up so my colors are <clears throat> reachable oh I wish they had a better system of this getting the colors from this palette or they could have used it you know where you can unsnap it so here is a built-in palette that they it came with so I want to be able to reach all of these colors like so okay so there that is and I'll show you how I mix it <coughs> I mix the color right onto the paper but this one I'm going to use black eyed Susans are this pretty yellow and the paintbrush that I have been using is this um, the uh, silver black velvet number eight it's the 3000 series round brush and I like the way it works on the manipulates it holds a lot of paint and I typically this was like a what do they call that I don't know it's like don't want to say squirrel hair or beaver hair or what it holds a lot of water not beaver because that repels water I don't know if it's squirrel but my husband I wanted the synthetic tips but he ordered this by accident for me so I'm using it so anyway let's just get started so we can get painting because it's already 12 minutes into the video um, I hope that you guys like this content um, what I'm doing this is just the journey of me building you know the steampunk journal um, you probably don't want to watch me paint because it's gonna be like watching dr paint dry I guess I don't know um, so uh, what is everybody what, what is what is everyone up to I know that a lot of challenges are going on I've been back watching the YouTube channels um, Rachel at Roxy Creations, Artie Mays, Shabby Dabby Doodah, um, Crafton, um, oh gosh there's so many it just it's, it escapes me but so many um, Wendy, Wendy's Adventures, um, 49 Dragonflies, a lot of people are doing collabs and and challenges and you know eventually I'm gonna get there I just feel like I need to I want to get the steampunk journal out of the way because it's been so long that I've been working on this uh, I just want to hurry up and get it away get it out of the way but you know not take my time let me just see let's mix this color not take my time and uh, I want I, I want to get this at a done at a, a steady pace okay here's that yellow and I figured if I let me see if I'm gonna oh use some of this ochre yellow to deepen the because the black eyed Susans I don't know if it's more of a subdued yellow but see see how I'm building my color uh, I think it might be have a little like orange in it let's see black eyed Susan Oop, that's a little bit too much orange let's get some of this bright yellow I don't even know what the names of this the yellow now here when I swatch it out is that the yellow that I want on the black eyed Susan more than likely this orangey yellow okay let's get some more water in here so I'm building this is my paint palette it's quite wet so here that that's what that looks like so um, I want to start off really faint so I'm just going to go ahead and okay here we go 
I want to get the color on and then I can deepen its color value, warm it up and add some detail. This Black Eye Susan is this color, this orange yellow or yellow orange, probably yellow orange because it's It's not this color because then I can come in here and drop in because these leaves are close together. And, you know, even if it goes outside the lines, it's an abstract painting, right? Let's get some more water. this is what I've learned recently this is called a line and wash technique and I didn't know that <laughs> but now I do you know um, okay so now you can go over and that's a lot of water on this for this paper and where's my towel Ugh. okay take off some of this lighten it up by just moving some of the color here let me see if you can let me try and zoom in okay It's like an orangey yellow so then I guess I'm gonna want to deepen this by adding some of this deeper orange see then that's gonna be very close to this and I don't want that you see with this color so I'm gonna change my mind on that or add some brown. Let's see. By adding Yeah, that's working. Get more of this pigment in here. Okay. So I just want to go like um Adding some, just some depth. So let me just swipe this like this, because I don't want a whole lot of color. I just want to bring, add this in, giving it some, if you could see, it's already giving it some depth, instead of it just being a, a plain yellow blotch right there so I've added the I mixed I corrected that by using this sort of red orange and mixing it at some of the brown and so what I'm gonna do is not waste any of this so I'm just gonna take this down into the stem and just add that color because oh actually not because what I've done um, I'm gonna go ahead and Add that in here, get some of this tone, and then come back with the yellow, and then bring some over here. So I'm just trying to mop up this. I'm going to add some of this in here because I will be deepening this up with some brown because the Black Eyed Susan, if you remember, a little too much I need to get some of this pigment off of this palette make it more of a deeper brown let's see yeah may have to add some black to deepen this I 
Ugh. My goodness. See how mistakes can happen? <laughs> Let's see. I guess I may have to go straight on there with this color. Just like this. See how that's working? I'm getting the putting the brown right on top. Because the Black Eyed Susan has sort of that you know, the brown eye on it, I guess. I'm deepening this brown with some black. See how I... Oh, you can't see it because I'm not in frame. There. I put the brown straight on. Grab some of this brown right here. And then just took a little black and deepened the color to make this a darker brown. So I'm just going to give it a chance to dry up here. And then let me go ahead and add this brown. In here and let that dry. So, and then I need that yellow. Soaker yellow. <laughs> then that red. Ooh, no, that's not what I initially done had done, right? Listen to me talk. That is just. A, Okay, that's not what I did initially. I think I, I know I got this yellow, this ochre yellow. This reminds me of ochre yellow, so I'm taking that. I need to rinse my brush better because it picked up some of that black in there. Oh, see, that's the yellow I'm working on right here. Some of this ochre. And which orange did I grab? Is it this one? No, but that will work. in some of this yellow there so that's the second black eyed Susan and yeah I am wasting this, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is probably use this as a color board. So I'm thinking about just kind of blending that wash in. You know, you can make tags and ephemera. I see Artie Mays doing it all the time with um, her little papers that she just kind of blocks on and stuff. She ends up making tags from them. So. I thought I'd keep some of this back too and, and see what I can do with it too. So I'm taking this brown straight on. Yeah, I'm going to have to deepen this color here. Let's take some of this brown. Give me a little pull here so I can just take this black. Drop that in, creating a little more depth in, in Susan's eye, Black Eyed Susan's eye. 
that. Let's see. Give me a little more black. dropping that in there to give it more depth. Do you see how that works? You're having to layer the paint. So you can see the separation from the... Oh, let me lay this down flat before it starts dripping. Let's see if we can get you in a little bit closer. Oh, and my lighting, it just, I don't know what it, what's going on with my lighting. No, that doesn't do it justice either. I don't know, I just don't like that, the way that looks. Well, it looks beautiful in person than it does. And then I want to take some of this. And drop some of that in there into the stem. The stem's right here. Um. There, the stem. And then I'm going to come in and add some green. that around. All right. Let's color pad up. I'm going to start the green. I have some 27 minutes and I'm trying to get this painting complete, these paintings done so we can then move on to other by putting all the ephemera pieces that I cut together mass make stuff for the things that will go into the journal. So I want this green. Some of this blue here to make that beautiful deeper green. Okay, so I'm going to start here and bring this green in here. Just bring it on down. Just like so. Bring in that leaf colored in. And then like to blotchy so I'm gonna take up some of this with the there we go Mop some of that up. Okay, let's see. What other green did I need? I need this again. Oops. This blue. Make that beautiful green.
color right there. And then clean my brush. And some more of this. And then grab this blue. And drop that color green into this leaf. And, oops. here okay I'll lighten this up there well that's what that looks like I think we might be done. Yeah, I think so. You know, if I do any more, I think I'm going to truly see how we, I add a lot of water. Only just a little bit came through, but there's that right there that we have finished. That's a lazy Susan. I'll probably come back later, do some extra pen work to put in some dark areas where you can separate some of the leaves um, later. But for now, there's the Black Eyed Susan that we finished right there. It's going to dry, and so I'm going to bring this one forward and let's get some leaves done. So I'm going to turn this around paint pot there and just continue on with the green wash uh, okay I want to take the same green and then bring it down all along in here for the stem okay so we need some this to me right here that I'm working on with this color looks like mossy green it's a nice mossy green so I'm gonna have to Get a lot of that. Drop in a lot of water because I have a lot of leaves to work with. And then I need some of this blue to bring in the brighter green. Because that's more of that moss is like a a warm a warm green. And then adding the blue to that green makes it brighter see how it gets brighter so these are like the three color values I want to be using um, for these leaves but naturally I want to start off let me get this color and see I need to add a bit of yellow there we go a little yellow into that okay so, uh, let's see, is that the yellow? Yeah, pretty much. Yep, that's the color, this lighter. Okay, let's just get that in there because we're going to build on this, color, this these leaves. Now, I want to 
go into this mossy green. And add it throughout the Start this brighter green and I want to add to the sleeve here. The sleeve here. Some more of this color here. I need some more of this brighter green. So I'm going to go with a clean white brush and just kind of blend that in. So it doesn't have these very harsh lines. Okay, I need some of that. that. Just bring it up the center just like that. And then... Okay. Okay, that's what I'm looking at, so let me bring some more of this. Let me get that. Using the dark, this bright green to do some shading. Uh, then, actually, I need some of this here to wash and give it that, take some of that bright yellow away, even though. I want that yellow and that, you know, because this reminds me of autumn. 
that's how you want to interpret your picture. You know, there's no really right or wrong way of interpreting your own, your painting. Um, so it makes you happy. What you like to see from nature, all the beautiful colors. Kind of went outside the lines just a little bit much making that this right here look too thick the okay what do i want down here let's go with green Okay, I think I'm happy with that. I don't want to do any more. But that's what we're looking at. I wanted to do it a little more dark green. I don't know if I should, but that could be added later. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like. If you think that's a pretty cool representation, I think so. You know? Okay, and there's, so that one's done. Let's turn this over and see there's no really no leakage on that so yeah these are hefty little papers right it's pretty hefty um, this is almost dry you could see that there's just a little bit left to shiny let's see if I could it's just a little bit wet see See how it was kind of shining right in through there. Just little specks of the brown that need to be dried. And then there's that. So I think we've finished. But I don't know, you guys, what should I do? I really don't want to ruin. Oops. Let's get these to drying. See, I'm not sure with these two right here. These, these I think are, oops, are fine. You know, because it's. I think it's equally spaced, but these right here, I don't know if that's just way too much. I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm going to just reserve this right now with that one. This rose, I don't know, this rose is kind of bothering me. Okay, I'm just going to go for what I'm thinking. And so I thought I'm going to come back here and just add another... little leaf coming up there so then this is not so open and then maybe a small one over there I think that makes it more even what do you guys think let me zoom that out Oops. Yeah, let's go back. Actually, I should just zoom you guys in. Let me know what you guys think. Did that, I think that add a little more. Actually, in fact, I might just leave this as a pen drawing. Just plain pen drawing, right? 
and it's in the distance they're smaller so the bigger leaves coming forward shows that it's you know there's depth so if I leave the small leaves because it shows it's going back into the background it shows depth between the uh, uh, stems so I think hmm make this a little bit darker and I think I'm just going to leave it just like that I'm going to leave that just as a doodle and no color on it Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I paint it? Just add like a light wash over it or just leave it just like that. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. Just that little bit added to that. Okay. I may have to just do a light, light, light yellow sort of like the... has to be very faint because it's in the background you know because I don't have anything that's left like this here anywhere else and I don't want to have to go and try and do that with the other um, paintings this lighting is just so bad so let me zoom this out I don't know if I can catch it like that. Mm. Mm. I'm going for what I'm thinking here. Let me zoom you in for it. Okay. I'm going to come over here, and from this, if you see this part right there, I'm like coming underneath and bringing oh shoot, oh I need to turn it around. I didn't ruin that, no. Like that. Okay. Yep, I think that's what I needed to do. Just those tiny little leaves. There. I think I'm happy with that. 
Oh, I just think I need, do I need to paint this? I'm going to need to paint it. Okay. Let's just try and get it done and let's see where we're, if I'm going to totally screw it up or not. I doubt it. So let's go with this right in here. So it's got to be a light wash in the background. See? Uh-huh, voila. Very light. Okay. There we go. Ah, nope. Need something a little bit more. Um... Just like that. I needed this needs a little more brown green. Okay, I think that's good, right there. Alrighty, yep, I think that's what that needed. Because it's now not too open. So right here I'm going to put rose, confederate rose. signature on it okay so there's that let me just get these out of the way let that dry over here um this paint palette out of the way so we have the rose we have the trumpet vine oh let me zoom out Oh boy, I hope everyone was able to see me paint that. I hope I was in the frame. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's that. 
and the chicory. This is the only blue per lavender drawing. I wonder if I should do some. And then we have the poppy. And we have down. Then we have the Black Eyed Susan and the Thistle. So what do you think you guys? So what I'm going to do is sit when I Oh, what did I scan all these in? I will be able to print all six of these flowers to go in each of the signatures. So all six will be in each signature. Since there's three signatures, we'll have all six, right? So what do you think, you guys? Let me know. This is an homage to Eliza Doolittle. She was a flower girl. When she began on the streets of London. And this is going to be in the My Fair Lady Steampunk. Okay. Thank you guys for joining in. I hope you were able to hear me. Um, I didn't want to try and talk a whole lot. Um, because of my, my lungs. Like right now I want to have a little coughing fit. But... Um, I hope you just like sitting in and watching me. I know it's probably like watching paint dry, you know, watching me paint. I hope you guys were crafting along. I didn't say a whole lot, but, you know, and I hope you guys understand that's because I'm not able to. Um, because my granddaughter's been dry, you know, uh, exhausting me, so... I'm having to build up my lung capacity to be able to, you know, to get more exercise because I was in bed for quite some time trying to get over this. Um, so anyway, let me know what you guys think and what you think about this one. Oh, uh, I know. That's just, see how this has now looked cohesive, the rose. I may have to add something here. Yeah, I may have to add something here. I'm not sure, though. Hmm. Okay, everybody. Thank you for um, hanging out with me. So, I hope everyone um, is, you know, happily crafting. And I hope that maybe if you were stuck and needing to find some mojo that this may have given you some inspiration by trying to do something different by breaking the monotony of just cutting out paper you know pasting paper try some painting add some paintings into your craft into your journals um like i said i have not painted for probably over 25 years if not longer and once you just start dabbling getting your pens and paints out whatever you have and just start because i believe that anybody can paint and draw i just do and it takes practice just practice every day but you know just it doesn't even have to be this big just start off with maybe just a a three by five just go that small a three by five you know uh those little three by five cards you know, they have the lined on one side and then the blank on the other. Just turn it over to the blank side and, and just doodle and add a little paint here and there. You know, and then and then start small, just like that, to add into your journals. But get those pens and paints out. The watercolor. I love watercolor because I, I, it can be manipulated so well. Um, and I'm surprised this is all on coffee dyed tea. I mean, not coffee dyed, but tea stained paper tea stained paper and it held up I'm, I'm amazed 
However, you can't paint like, you know, mix, you can't mix the paint color right on when you're, when I use my arches, you know, 300 uh, GSM paper, you know, because it's made for watercolor. It's made to hold the water and the water stays there so you can manipulate your colors and actually mix your colors on that paper. But with this one, it was a little challenging, but I went and did it anyway. You saw me. I went and just drew it and got the paints out and just painted to see. And it ended up how I like it. Not necessarily how, you know, what may jump out of your, your imagination. But take your imagination and use your favorite colors and just put it down. Remember, light values, light colors, and then start building with your darker shades your darker values okay well that's how i i do it with the getting the light washed down that way it creates you know depth so anyway i can't wait to hear if you guys have tried it getting out three by five cards and painting you know because you can add paint and it's so colorful doesn't it just make you happy look at how happy this looks okay good night everybody and I will talk to you soon and we'll start getting into using all of these things in the journals. So, okay. Bye. Good night.